Hello everyone! So today is going to be the start of a brand new series on this channel. It is the 100 Baby Challenge. Now this is kind of derived from Sims where you have to kind of pop out 100 babies. But a lot of people have been doing this using the Minecraft Comes Alive mod. So I thought that I would give this a shot. I think it should be very fun. Um, I have a few different mods um, downloaded. So this is a survival world. Uh, I'm not using any cheats, no nothing. This is just a plain old D survival. Um, I want it to be as close as I can get to just vanilla, but with a few things added. Um, so, like I have the crayfish uh, furniture mod added. I have the wallpaper mod. So yeah, this should be very, very fun. But uh, we are starting out here. This is where it spawned me. Now, I had this little crystal ball. And this is actually, you know, where you set your preference. Like what your name is and what gender are you interested in. Uh, so I want to actually save that. My plan is to find a village and then do this little crystal ball here. Um, that way I have more options of finding my husband. But yeah, so let's just go ahead and start off, because this is a survival world, let's go ahead and start off with getting some wood. I think that that would be a good thing. So this is going to take a while, but we're going to go ahead and get our, I guess, main tools. And I think we're going to head off and try and find a village somewhere. Okay, so now that I have finally crafted all of these tools, they're just wooden, but that's all that I really need right now. Um, my main goal for this episode is to go and find a village somewhere. Um, that's the most important thing, but I'm going to need some food because I don't know where the nearest village is. Uh, so I'm going to have to kill some of these cows, sorry, and these pigs. Alright, at least we got some food, though. Oop, there's a couple cows over here. Alright, there we go. And, oh no, he's running. Alright. He is running for his life. Come here, cow. Thank you. Alright, so now I believe we need to... Well, this is not, this food's not going to last me very long. I should probably make a furnace... So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and make a furnace real quickly. Uh, where is my crafting table? I've seen it over there. There you are. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and make a furnace. So, I'm going to need eight pieces of stone or cobblestone. Alright. Get this going. Okay, so I went on like a murder rampage. I even broke my sword. Uh, so I got some more pork chops and I have some more uh, beef in the furnace cooking up. So it's going to get dark here soon. So I think I might just hang out here for the time being. Um, and then once it turns light again, then I will go and explore for a village. But... That is my plan. Also, I killed some sheep, which is good. That way, I can make a bed when I need to. So, yeah, that's that's a good thing. Okay, we made it to daytime. I went ahead and upgraded our tools to stone. So, I'm just going to go ahead and throw these out. I have quite a bit of food, which is a good thing. So, now what I'm going to do is just go off and adventure around I'm not really sure what I'm going to find. So my plan is to just venture off and I really want to find a plains. That way it's more open and that way I can go ahead and use the crystal ball and it won't be all like compacted around. But yeah, so I want to find a good area, plains, and then with a village near that. So hopefully I find that. I'm not really sure where I'm going. Ooh, there's some coal. Uh, but I will meet you back when I do find something. 
Okay, that took way, way too long than it was supposed to. I could not find a village anywhere. Nonetheless, even find a plains. So I did finally find one. It's been like 30 or 40 minutes or something since I last hit that record button. But um, we finally found a village. It is right over here. It's in a desert biome, which is kind of weird, but we have this really nice plains area, and I think that this would work really, really good to start our uh, village, um, and then maybe, because I plan on building a house, maybe do our house somewhere over here, I'm not really sure, but I kind of checked out the area, I think that this would um, be a good spot to um, build at, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, use the crystal ball, um, I think that I kinda want to do it maybe right over here, I think this is a good spot, it is all clear, I think, for the most part, yeah, I think so, alright, I think this, this is a great spot, so let's get our crystal ball out, and here we go. Alright, it says right click the enchantment table to begin, which we are going to. It says, are you male or are you female? Well, I am female. Which do you prefer? I prefer males. And that is my name. And this is where you get to choose. I could choose to have a family, which that like gives you just a house with an already, you know, picked husband. You could live alone. But I'm going to pick I live in a village. That way it kind of starts me off. That way I get like two villages like close to each other. Which would be awesome. So that is what I'm going to pick. And it is fine because it is flat. Nothing is going to harm it. Alright, here we are. And this is our new home, I believe. Oh, look at that. We have Nico the leather worker. And who else we have in here? Dan the fisherman. Alright, we have Xena. What else do we have? Oh, we have little babies too. We have Cleo, um, Rick, and who are you? Chance? We have Chance. Interesting. Everybody seems to be aggravated. Like they have little clouds of smoke above them. Hmm. That's weird. We have Eric. And, ooh, it looks like he's stuck in there. Here, there you go. You wanna come on out? Go on, be free. Okay, Dirk, that is a heck of a name. All right, do we have anybody else? I don't know if we do. Um, Callie, and I think that's it. This was kind of a small little one, I think. Oh, we missed the guard over here. Forest the guard, and we have like a little graveyard. That is pretty neat. Alright, so here is our... Oh, I missed Tess. Hello, Tess. Okay, so this is our pre-made little village. Oh, I don't think I've seen you. Rachel? I think that's how you say that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out this village over here. Because I'm interested to see what they have. Um, I don't even know if they have a blacksmith. The blacksmith would be pretty nice. What if they had like a diamond in there or something? I want to collect this stuff too. Alright. Um, maybe we can find our husband? Maybe? Oh, wow. There's a lot of people in there. Okay. Well, hello, Emmy. Jeez. Uh, who else do we have? Who are you? Whoa. Alright, they are running really fast. Does nobody want to talk to me? Well, they do have a blacksmith. Let me go in here. Ooh, iron... Oh, obsidian? That is really good. Like, that's enough to... Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough to make an enchantment table if we find a diamond. That way we don't have to make a diamond um, pickaxe. That's really good. Okay, so... Oh, no, 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 no. He's dying from the cactus. That's very dangerous. Why does everybody want to go in this house? What is going on in there? Jeez. Okay. All right, we have Emmy. We have uh, who are you? Jada, Han, which 
You have a weird... Okay. Um, <laughs> we have... Um, who are you over here? You look like the other guard. Ted. Oh, it's getting nighttime. Is that what the problem is? Oh, man. I'm gonna have to wait the night out again. Ugh. Alright, we have... Who's it? Who's that? Uh, Jada? Did we already see her? And Elena the guard. Alright, why are you sleeping out here? I hope you're not. You're gonna get killed by a zombie. That's not gonna be good. Who are you? Alyssa? Oh, Anity the Archer. How cute. And we have another little baby in there too. Why is everybody in this house? I don't understand. Here, follow me, people. I don't know, just somebody. I'm gonna have to clear this house out a little bit. Here, I'll put you in a bigger house. Uh, how about this one? Okay, come on. Come on in here. Come on. There we go. There's one. Oh, they are running. They are running. They are running. Okay, stay here. Set your home. Set your home. Stay here. Okay, I think we're good. Now maybe since everybody's asleep, I can actually look and see what their names are. Although that's kind of not helping. It is really dark in here. I need some torches or something. Why are you sleeping outside? Jeez. These people follow me. I'm gonna die. Come here. Come here. He's not coming. Okay. Nope. Stay. Okay. Jeez. Everybody's gonna, like, die. And what are you doing now? Okay. Alright. Uh, who do we have here? What is your name? Hunter? Um, Nikita? And Jada, again. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. And Alyssa, we have Alyssa too. I haven't seen her. That's nice. Alright, so, I believe that that's all of them. Are there some over here too? Oh, there is. Sade? Hello, Sade. Can you even get out of there? I don't even know if you can. Here. But we don't even have any doors. This place is not very safe. Oh, my bad. Okay, uh, we're gonna make some doors. <laughs> I think that would be really good. There you go. I don't have any uh, coal where I would make torches. I haven't, I've seen a lot of coal on my way here, but I didn't pick any up, which is bad. Okay, maybe I can kill these. This dude is in full gold here. He is protecting himself. There we go. Oh, is somebody trapped in here? Uh, Dina? Dina, you're trapped. Okay. Safe journey. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see. I don't even think I actually told you how far I came out. These are, these are my coordinates. I'm a thousand blocks out. Which is a lot from where I spawned. But yeah, okay. So, let's... Let's let's light this up a little bit. I want to get rid of these cactuses because the villagers are probably going to die on them. Okay. Maybe if we light all this up, it won't be so bad. Okay. This one actually has a Well, it has light. Oh, yeah, there's a torch right there in that one. I don't understand why all the other houses did not spawn with one. It's weird. Put a torch out here. Torch here. Oh, I am doing good, Alyssa. Um, let's see. Is this the creeper house? I don't know where the creeper went. It's kind of scary. Who's in here? Callie? What does she look like? I kind of like her. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Okay. One thing really cool about this mod is that you can actually change the clothes of the person, um, which is really cool. So, Drew is an option for me. I think Drew might might be a future husband of mine. Uh, I think I'm going to gather all of my, my uh, possibilities in this house. Um, see if we get this baby to follow me out of here. Come here. 
Oh, there he is. All right. Don't go back in there, please. Here, you can live in here. Come in here. I give up. He is not wanting to follow me, so he can just move freely. And I'll put this door back. Okay, so uh, Drew in there is a possibility. Let's see, who else was in here? We have, ooh, um, uh, Nikita, which is a girl. Uh, Jada, girl. Who are you? Hunter. Hey, he's kind of cute. Let's see. His mood is passive, and his personality is sensitive. All right. Could you follow me, Hunter? I would appreciate it. I think you'll just teleport to me, which is good. All right. Let's see if we can get him in here. Is he coming? I see him right there. <laughs> Come here. Okay, there he is. Stay here. You stay, and I'm going to set your home point. Just, just stay there for now. Uh, I'm going to steal this torch. I don't want anything spawning in here. That would be very, very sad. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't want Ted. And what is going on? You just keep opening and shutting the door. What is the problem? Jeez. Y'all are horrible. Just go out. Jeez, just open and shut in the door. It's like my nieces. Ugh. Okay, we have Ashton, which I don't much care for Ashton. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm picky when it when it comes to choosing my husband. Uh, let's see. Was anybody in here? I don't think there was. We only have two people so far. Uh, Alyssa... And who else was in here? We have Han, or Han, or Han, I don't know how to say that. Um, let's see. Oh no, he's married! He's married to Alyssa! Oh no. Okay, so I have to act quick. Jeez, these people are already getting married. Oh no. Uh, what if I take them away? Will they, like, will they marry even if they're taken away? He's, nobody's in there. I think that this is it in this village. So I only have like two people I could marry. He's not married. And he's not married. Okay, so you are passive and you are friendly. That's Drew. And Hunter is passive and sensitive. So I think that these are some pretty good options. I think I might take them back to my village over there. Um, and see my future mates who lives over there. So, let's see. I'm going to get y'all to follow me, please. I'm bringing you to my village. Alright, let's go. Come on. Just do not hit yourself on a cactus. That would be extremely sad. Alright, let's go this way. Do not drown either. That would be bad too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, they're following me. That's good. Let's get you to come over here. I want to put you in... Let's see. I'll just put you in my house, which I believe is this one over here. Alright, I'll put you in this house over here. No, whoa, whoa. Who is this? Forced. Okay. Um, I want you to set your home and stay here. Okay, I think we're good. What is with you people? You just, like, have, like, no sense of regard for somebody's home. They're just like, hey, I'm coming in whether you like it or not. Oh, jeez. All right. Do not come in. I am busy. Okay? All right. Jeez. So we have Hunter and we have Drew here. I kind of want to go see who else... Might be an option in this village. Um, Dan, I don't really like. I don't like the the thing. <laughs> I know this sounds horrible. Oh, this dude is trapped here, isn't he? Come on. Go on. Go. Move. He's not moving. Okay, it looks like we might have some new people. Uh, I didn't remember seeing Rick. Oh, wait. No, he's married to Xena. Oh, how nice. Okay, and then we have Quentin here, but he kind of looks scary with his little mask there. 
Uh, so I don't really think I want to go for him. Now we have Dirk, which is an option. Um, and then them two. Let's see. Then we have Nico, which is an option as well. So, yeah. We're going to bring these back. I think that that's four, four guys right now. So, yeah. Okay, so these are our four maybe future husbands here one of them is going to be my future husband um but we have dirk who is passive and sensitive we have hunter who is passive and sensitive as well we have nico who is passive and friendly and we have drew who is passive and friendly so i'm going to chat with them and see how much they like me and i think that's how i'm gonna base on who I choose. Um, yeah. So I will meet you right back once I chat with them a bit. Okay, so it has been a while. I have been chatting with all of them. And it has come down to Dirk and Nico. Uh, Hunter only has one heart. And he refuses. Like, even if something has, like, a 75% chance of actually doing good he doesn't like it and drew here he apparently hates me so <laughs> um that's who it's between uh dirk or nico i think i'm going to maybe propose to one or the other in the next episode so be sure to stay tuned uh, but I think that that is going to be the end of this episode. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like. And I will see you all again next time. <laughs>